بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سال خان یوٹیوب چینل وی ٹو ڈے وی اسٹڈی دا نیو ٹاپک دیٹ از دی ڈایوڈ ریزسٹنس لیولس سو لیٹ می گیو دی ہیڈنگ وی ہیو دی ڈایوڈ ریزسٹنس لیولس And I would will offer resistance right to the flow of current levels. So I will tell you. The thing is that as the operating point moves, as the Q point of the diode moves up and down. And how, how do that moves? Why do that move? You know it very well from the external resistance, the slope, right? You know everything from the previous video. What does this depend on? This can move, right? This could either go up or go down for a different circuit. So the printing point moves. What happens is the diode resistance changes, which means the diode resistance has something to do with the Q point. The diode resistance also changes. Why? Because the resistance is uh, V upon I and that V dQ upon I dQ. So diode resistance will also change. So the type of the applied voltage, the type of applied voltage will determine the resistance level. We have got different multiple uh, resistance levels, but the type and that depends on what? The type of applied voltage will determine the resistance level. Is that fine? It is. Let's say number first is the DC resistance or it's also called the static resistance. DC or static resistance of a diode, right? So what happens when you apply a DC signal to a diode to a circuit having a semiconductor diode the operating point will not change with respect to time. DC voltage is applied to a circuit which has a diode the Q point will not change with time because the IDQ and VDQ will not change Q point will not change why because the coordinates VDQ IDQ they will not change they are constant so the resistance of the diode RD you can simply calculate by dividing VDQ let's say divide by IDQ you don't need to write the Q so it doesn't matter you could take it at any point but we generally take it at the Q point fine is it fine it is and that is it the DC okay let's say let's say we have an example the DC resistance at the knee will be greater than the resistance the, at the vertical rise sections so if you have the volt ampere characteristics so you know the knee right so you know the knee is this the barrier potential this thing represents the knee so the resistance near the knee would be greater r d near knee or below the knee is higher and that is obvious why because the current is lower in this case so it's inversely proportional to current and the vertical rise section rd near in the vertical section is low vertical section this exponential rise why because we have a higher current so rd is of course low we'll do it we'll see it through an example the book has an example 
in general the higher the current through a diode the lower is the DC resistance level so the higher the current through a diode ID the lower is the the, the DC resistance level of the diode and a general range is given typically the, the DC resistance of a diode will range from about 10 ohms to 80 ohms this is the range 10 ohms to 80 ohms the DC resistance value example come to example please the book example what does it states determine the resistance levels of the diode at ID is equal to 2 milliamps ID is 20 milliamps ID is 2 milliamps ID is 20 milliamps VD is minus 10 volts and these three conditions you need to find the DC resistance the graph is given and let's say I draw it I may not draw it properly you can check it out from the book if this is your V axis this is your I axis of course through the through the diode so what can what do you see from here at point 5 it's 2 so let's say over here we have a point 5 so over here it's a 2 right and then at point 8 it's 20 point 8 it's 20 and in the reverse bias region it's 1 micro amperes okay so so rd is equal to what simply simply case number one rd is vd upon id let's say we're not given the q point if we are given one thing we can know the other thing from the graph we can directly do it if not given the q point so we can say that r this would be equal to v d upon id and vd is given id is given so which is 2 milliampere so 2 milliampere is given and at this 2 milliampere the corresponding voltage is what the corresponding voltage is 0.5 and I believe this is in volts yes this is in volts so you get the answer of a 250 ohms which is quite high than the normal range the second the second what do you do the same way RD is the current is given which is 20 milliamps and and the corresponding voltage you could find from the graph if you draw it on a proper scale of course so you have a 0.8 volts and the answer to this is 40 ohms 40 ohms so you could see this you can see this I told you that RD near the knee or below the knee is quite large and you could see this is at the knee of obviously about at the knee or a little higher but it's near the knee and the resistance is quite large and just a little 0.3 volts away the resistance has dropped significantly and of course for the reverse bias region it would be quite high it's naturally high and we'll get a high value we have a, we have a, we have a, a, a part as well for this one so 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 you, if you have your rd so this is vd upon id vd is given which is your negative 10 volts and this negative I, I do not need to write over here of course this negative indicates the reverse biasing and for the reverse biasing let's say over here we have negative 10 the corresponding current is a 1 micro amperes so 1 uh, 1 micro so 10 to the power negative 6 10 mega ohms 10 mega ohms and you know the reasons to this reverse biasing high resistance we replace it by an open circuit equivalent is that fine it is clearly supporting some of the earlier comments regarding the DC resistance of a diode have you understood it have you understood it yes so I believe I don't do the next in this video we have a separate video for the next 
we have three resistance levels okay see you in the next video till then take care goodbye